It's time for Seattle Sips, where we check out amazing drinks in our area. Fruit Wine Co. opened recently in Bellevue. It is the first interactive retail store, wine club, and tasting space in the region. Oh, nice. And today, we are joined by Master Sommelier and co-owner Jackson Rorba. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. It's so super fun to be here. Yeah. Absolutely. Before we start, we got to give a shout out to a special someone who made this pumpkin here. Yes, that's my daughter, Quinn. She made Love that it. by hand, and we thought it would really fit the theme today, so we brought it. And so it does. So tell us a little bit about the space and the journey it took to become a Fruit Wine Co. Yeah, so we started as Crunchy Red Fruit in, and wearing the shirt. I like uh, it. Back in 2020 oh, in nice. the pandemic. So it was this wine club, an online store that took a few years to kind of get off the ground. And then we found that there was a wine shop in Bellevue that wanted to combine some online things and we wanted some brick and mortar and place where people could come and taste wines that we could talk to them and welcome them in so mm -hmm. we just merged and now we're one company oh my gosh and now I we have a shop I yeah. love your shirt. It reminds me. I was like a pop punk kid kind yeah. of growing oh, yeah. up, and this reminds me of like a band shirt. I really yeah. like ah, it. Very it's cool. Awesome. It was designed by a band shirt designer. So. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> yep. uh, what kind of wines can people find there? Uh, we have wines from all over the world. We we really emphasize wines from the Pacific Northwest, from Oregon and Washington, winemakers that we're good friends with, which we're going to taste a few wines from nice. them today, mm -hmm. but also wines from Italy, from Hungary, from Australia from all over the world, just wherever they're making quality wines that are made with a minimum of intervention. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, I think one of the things that is so exciting about wine is when we pair it with food, right? Because it's like a different feeling each time. And you're going to teach us about the best fall foods and wine pairings. Yes. What do we have? Uh, so we brought a lot of fun things here. We're going to taste some Thanksgiving style dishes. We're okay. just going to taste some great classic fall dishes. Uh, we're starting here with uh, vegetable pot pies, which mm -hmm. could also, if you wanted them, be chicken pot pies or meat pot pies uh, with a little Cabernet Sauvignon from Ooh. Washington State. Ooh, so. great. All right. All right. Yeah. Beautiful. So Thank right here. you. This is a really cool Cabernet Sauvignon from Waluk Slope, uh, which is in eastern Washington. And I love this Ansel Cabernet Sauvignon. It is elegant. It is restrained. Nice. These are both really veggie, yeah? Yeah, it's all both oh, veggie. Oh, yeah. beautiful. So okay. Mm. Oh, and it's also warm. We appreciate that. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, mm. Cabernet that, if this were a super big oaky Cabernet, I would kind of stay away from yeah. doing it with pot pies, but this is actually really refreshing, and it's kind of a 13% um. alcohol Cabernet. It's, mm -hmm. it's made in this sort of, you know, more relaxed, more elegant style. It's really Ooh. yummy. So good. Um, you know, we love our soups here here on the show. On yeah. TV and also behind the scenes, we've yeah. both made our own soup this week. Yeah. Um, it just feels like a warm hug. So tell us kind of what wine goes well with the soup that you have here. Yeah, so to go with the soup, we brought a wine, uh, Martin Woods. This is a Riesling from Willamette Valley. Oh. And an important thing about Riesling is that a lot of people think Riesling is just a dessert wine. It is, it is not. I mean, there's a lot of amazing dry styles of Riesling. And in Willamette Valley, they're able to create this really beautiful, precise, floral, but not sweet style of Riesling. And my friend Evan Martin, who's the winemaker at Martin Woods, is doing incredible work. And we featured his wines in our club before. And uh, so this is Willamette Valley Riesling with a little butternut squash soup. Love All right, it. beautiful. Yeah. Now, you're trying the, the wine here. Let me just jump into this mm -hmm. little sopita. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's so good. I feel like um, Riesling can be like overly sweet sometimes, yes. but this is like the perfect amount. Oh, it's of... not too sweet. You're right, yeah. which yeah. is so good, but the combo is nice. Yeah. Mm. But I know squash has this sort of vegetal character, but it also has kind of a sweet, fruity character. And yeah. so doing a dry Riesling like this really helps highlight that mm. kind of sweeter nature of the soup. I really like this drink. Ooh, that's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd ha I would have this anytime, but it's great for the fall, too. Um, and of course, uh, Halloween's not here yet, but <laughs> let's talk Thanksgiving, okay? Because we do got to prep for that. Uh, what are some good pairings once that season rolls around? Yeah. Well, one of the most classic pairings for Thanksgiving time is Beaujolais. We drink a lot of Beaujolais around the holidays with oh. roast chicken, with turkey. But another overlooked one uh, that I think is really fun is Lambrusco. So. Lambrusco is a sparkling red. It's from central Italy. A sparkling red? Yes. I don't think I've ever had that. The closest I've had to that is a rosé, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
So this is uh, Quaresimo, La Colina, Lambrusco. This comes from central Italy, Emilia Romagna. And Hello, this is a... Italian accent. <laughs> I like how you said that. Yeah. I lived in Italy for during college, Did and you? so got to you know know some of the local nice. wines. So cool. Part of why I might have ended up in the profession mm -hmm. I ended up in, but yeah, mm -hmm. uh, this is a dry red, but it's sparkling, and it's mm -hmm. one of the most food-friendly wines there is. You can pair this with pizza. You can pair it with yep. the whole Thanksgiving table with all your turkey and all your mashed potatoes and your cranberry sauce yeah. or the next day Ooh. right as uh, people are oh, you know starting to wake up from yeah. the the festivities the night before mm -hmm. you know, have a leftover sandwich with a little bit of chicken a little bit of turkey a yeah. little bit of uh, cranberry sauce and cream mm -hmm. cheese and pair it with something effervescent and fresh Beautiful. Like this. now Great. I do want to try it but I want to make sure we get to this last one we have about 40 seconds left Great. So what do we have going on? So this is uh, cream sherry, and we're pairing it with pumpkin pie. There's nothing more classic than mm -hmm. a little bit of spicy, delicious pumpkin pie with yep. an off-dry sherry. Uh, this is from Gutierrez Colosia. One of our favorite pairings is usually frozen Snicker bars with this, Ooh. but today we're pairing it with pumpkin pie, so. Love it. Nice. Yeah. Let's Great. try it. Let's yeah. do it. Cheers. Okay. Get in there. Here we go. Here we go, girl. Thank you. Yeah, some welcome. Pie? I mean, I got to try a bite of this pie. Yeah. Oh. Um, really quickly, tell us, um, you've got different wine club memberships. Yes. So we have Crunchy Red Fruit, which is our wine club, and that is available for three and six bottles every two months. And it's a great way to experience wines from all over the world. It's like a mixtape of wines you may have never had before. I put mm -hmm. in really fun stuff that is Ooh, a sense of discovery. Mm -hmm. so. Nice. I could see how this works so well. Thank you so much for visiting with us. Yeah. We have more info on our website, Fox 13 Seattle. Com slash studio 13 line. Yeah, thanks again. Thank you. Uh,